Hello everyone. Judge is a pretty powerful. Or are they? We are going to discuss where judges get their power, and whether or not that power is unlimited. This matters, as judges, tend to believe due to our silence, that they have free reign to issue rulings, while still being public servants. How in the world can a servant command, order, mandate, prohibit, and or dictate what your rights are, what the rules are, what the law is, exactly. Now we are in no way attempting to bash judges, to say that all judges are bad, because that would be a lie. There are some very astutious judicial officers out there, who were really trying to help and make a difference in our society. It is not the judges for the most part, it is the system, it is their fraternity, their so-called brotherhood. We have allowed this to go on for so long, and whenever you allow something to go unchecked, there is imbalance. So what can be done? Let us find out. Ladies. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we were having a discussion, as the introduction explains, as to whether or not judges are all powerful. So give me a second. We're about to go through an exercise. I promise you, those of you who have been running into problem with the courts, you're going to find this informative. One moment, please. Okay, I had to take care of some things in the background, but that's taken care of. Now we can get to the actual information. Sorry, that's my software that I'm installing telling me that it ain't installing. So give me one second. Yeah, I got to update that later. All right, give me one second, ladies and gentlemen, while I talk to the system. It'll be one second. Wake up. I need your assistance, comma, and what I do not need is for you to give nuances and or clarifications, comma, it is unnecessary, period. If I say something and or mention an issue that appears to be inaccurate, comma, please note that you do not know all of the facts and or circumstances, comma, so although it may appear to be inaccurate, comma, I am the expert here, comma, and I will determine whether or not it is inaccurate, comma, do you understand, question mark. What I am needing for you to produce is information documenting the necessities of a motion for recusing a judicial officer based on misrepresentations and or impersonations of a judicial official or simulating a judicial process, period. This is based on the fact that the judicial officer in this scenario is operating under the Administrative Procedures Act, comma, advising clients that they are to exhaust their administrative remedies, period. This particular judicial officer is a public servant, comma, and as a public servant, comma, does not have jurisdiction for ruling or exercising any type of rulership over the public, comma, but has a duty to serve the public as defined in law, exclamation mark. Judicial officer, this particular is employed by a private corporation documented via Dun & Bradstreet 
comma, as exercising the capacity as a commercial business operator business operator and it has been well established at any time any government agency and or government sponsored corporation engages in commercial business activity comma they abandon their sovereign capacity and are to be treated as any other ordinary corporation period in fact the supreme court ruled in perry v u.s that the government takes on the character of a private citizen subject to the same rules as a private citizen would be subject to when engaged in private contracts and or commercial business period this particular judicial officer is enforcing codes and or statutes that are not enacted by directly by Congress, i.e. colon, the legislature, comma, in this particular state, governing this scenario, comma, only the legislature may enact a law and that the citizens of this particular state in this particular scenario comma are not bound and or obligated to obey any statute not directly enacted by the legislature comma via the legislative process exclamation mark The template for this particular scenario will be challenging the jurisdiction of the judicial officer as well as the jurisdiction of the court over the particular party forward slash petitioner, period. Stop listening. It's not going to want to answer this right here, but I just wanted to say all of that so that you guys will understand exactly what's going on. Again, as it said in the intro, how can a public servant, not official, because official means somebody in charge. No, how can a public servant rule over the public? So what is this? Somebody told me today that a judge issued a ruling against them. No, you don't get the rule over the public. There's no justification for them ruling over the public. It made no sense a hundred years ago. It makes no sense now. One second. Well, look at there. He didn't even give me. Keep in mind, I am not a legal professional. He didn't even give me a headache, y'all. I just knew that he was going to give me a headache. Now, watch this. You see what he just gave me? Give me one second. I got to, this ain't, this ain't the one. I got to find. Okay. Okay, I can use this one. Now watch this. I thought I asked you for a motion template with all of the necessary incorporations and requirements for a motion template. Wake up. I thought I asked you for a motion template 
come up with all of the necessary requirements for a motion template for this particular scenario? Question mark. I don't see any table of authorities. Comma, I don't see the outline format. Comma, I don't see the introduction. Comma, I don't see the caption for this local court in this fictional scenario. Question mark. Where is my template that I asked for? Question mark. Stop listening. Now let's see if we're going to get what we requested. Oh. Now watch this. I need you guys to understand because he's saying he's not able to provide legal document. Um, with such detail and specificity, I could, it could be misconstrued as unauthorized legal advice. Um, now we're, we're going to correct that. Let me show you how you correct his ignorance when he goes legal advice. And let's see if he gave me the template. No, he's apologizing. Let's see. Let's see if it's this one. Okay. Okay. Now he, that's what you guys got to understand. Not always is all of the comments going to be negative, 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 negative. This one will be longer. The second one is usually the longest one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one. Now watch what I do. Not share. We're going to take this one and we're going to go longer. Because I needed longer. It was too short. You know, he was trying to do his own little version of Freaky Tales. That's for those of you who understand. Yeah, yeah, back in the day. All right, way back in the day, as you understand. Ooh wee Okay, now he gave me my longer. Now watch this. Let's do it more professional. See, he gave me my longer, and that's what I needed. But now I need it more professional. And that's what he's given me now. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a simple petition on how to recuse a judicial officer. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to pull up the EIN number for the court. We'll talk about that in the next video. Then we'll also talk about how you document the fact that that judicial officer operating under that premise is doing it for a private corporation and government can't be private. Judges cannot rule while exercising the authority of a private corporation, but if you understood the case law, they can only rule under the authority of the agency for whom they are employed. Okay, laws you didn't know exist, it's already there. When challenging jurisdiction, the judge is not exercising the proper capacity. That's why they are ruling. That's why they have to result to trickery into getting you to subject yourself to their jurisdiction, getting you to appear in their courtrooms. So we'll talk about that in the next few videos under this series. Have a good day, everyone.